Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Welcome back, everyone. Cloud cover is going to continue to increase. And while we still have a mostly clear sky out there for now, cloud cover is going to move in with a developing low pressure system two hours southeast. First clouds and then some rain chances looking ahead at this evening. We are at 51, so still a pretty cool start to our day with winds coming in out of the north northeast at 12 miles per hour. Winds will pick up today, gusting up to 30 miles per hour throughout the afternoon. So it will be a very windy day and that will make it feel even cooler. Certainly grab the jackets as you send the kids out to the bus stops this morning. We are going to be in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Sunrise today at 7:47 a.m. Eastern Time and just chilly. We'll start to see that cloud cover increasing, especially as we head through the next couple of hours here. For the afternoon, yeah, the clouds are going to take over most of that sunshine, so not as much as what we had around yesterday. 49 degrees currently in Rockville, 49 in Paris, 48 over in Mattoon, 51 in Terre Haute, and Linton checking in at 53. As we head to the morning hours today, breaking it down hour by hour for you, 54 degrees by 9 a.m., rebounding back to 55 by 10, and then into the lower 60s eventually by midday today. But cooler overall, we're talking forecast highs a good 10 degrees below average. Average today should be near 74 to 75, and we're going to see highs near 65 here in Terre Haute. Same deal in Rockville, 65 in Linton, Vincent, 66, and Flora set to top out near 67 today. Good news from the tropics. We do have an update for you. Even though we have a major hurricane still over the Bahamas this morning, a category four, uh, Joaquin is going to continue to track off to the north, but at this point, weather models are taking it farther out to sea, not necessarily directly in impacting the eastern seaboard of the U.S., so that is a very good thing. However, this part of the U.S. still being saturated by a system moving out this morning, so they really do not need any more rain, but that system will deliver that. Here's what it looks like on radar this morning. Again, as it tracks off to the north, we are going to be influenced by a low pressure system that's in the southeastern quadrant of the U.S., bringing in cloud cover all of this rain that's just to our south this morning, that is what's going to be working its way in today, tonight, and into the day on Saturday. So we'll time this out on future cast beginning this morning. Here's 7 a.m. hour by hour through our Friday. Notice that sky has become partly cloudy, mainly after lunchtime today, and then the clouds take on over. Here's 7 o'clock tonight. As many local high school football games are getting underway, a splash of rain will be a possibility. Just some stray showers, though, not necessarily expecting lightning with this system. And then as we closer through the overnight tonight. That is when the rain changes pick up as far as their coverage area. So mostly cloudy by 7 o'clock tonight. Again, we could see a quick showers. We head through our evening as temperatures start to drop back into the upper 50s. We'll pick future cast back up this evening. Here's 10 o'clock. Notice that again, we are not looking at the widespread rain to move in tonight. That will hold off until the day on Saturday. Here's 7 a.m. Saturday morning. A cloudy sky in place. We keep that cloud cover around all throughout the day on Saturday. Here's two o'clock in the afternoon. Off and on showers, certainly a good bet for the first part of our weekend. Five o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, certainly going to see that chance of rain. If you do have plans, grab that rain gear. Make sure you have it handy for the first part of our weekend. By Sunday morning, we could see a stray shower or two, but by Sunday afternoon, we'll start to see that uh, the sky clearing back out for us and temperatures warming back up. Highs return to near 70 on Sunday after only reaching near 61 for our Saturday. So forecast for today, 65 with partly to mostly cloudy skies. We have that chance of seeing some straight rain showers. And also note, today is going to be a very windy day. We're talking wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour at times. For the overnight tonight, stray showers with gusty winds continuing a low near 50. And then just one of those damp and dreary days tomorrow. Cooler as well with a high near 61 for our Saturday. And putting us into our Sunday, some lingering showers in the morning morning and then things start to warm back up for us. Highs near 70 Sunday. Rain clears out for the first part of next week and we really start to warm things back up with highs in the 70s.